Svelte Kit just dropped an experimental feature called Remote Functions, which lets developers call server code from anywhere in the app without worrying about breaking type safety or accidentally leaking sensitive stuff like environment variables or database credentials. This is kind of a big deal because it is signaling that web development is going through another shift where the old separation between front-end and back-end is starting to feel unnecessary, so we really need to talk about it. Svelte remote functions look like normal functions, but they always run on the server. On the client, they're just wrappers that make an HTTP request to the real function sitting on the backend. This means you can fetch and update data directly from a Svelte component without setting up an API route, writing fetch boilerplate, or wondering if you forgot to sanitize something, all while enjoying type safety across the entire stack. The first thing you need to do is to opt into remote functions inside your Svelte config file. Then, you automatically get access to four different types of remote functions. Note that these functions are exported from remote.js or remote.ts files. The query function offers the most convenience since you can use it to grab data from the server. You can also pass and validate arguments using something like Zod or Valibot so you are not trusting user input blindly. Then, on the client, you can simply call the function and, if you need to update the data without reloading the page, you can call the special refresh function on it. The results returned from query functions work as promises and we can await them to seamlessly populate components with the received data. While query is great for reading data, eventually you'll want to write something back to the server and that's where form comes in. A form function ties directly to an HTML form element so it works even if JavaScript is disabled. But when JS is available, it progressively enhances the form so submissions happen without a full page reload. By default, after a successful form submission, all queries on the page will be refreshed, but you can make it more efficient by specifying exactly which queries should be updated. And if you're not working with a form, but still need to run a server-side action, you can use a command remote function. This one is essentially the same idea from form, but commands can also trigger query refreshes or perform optimistic updates so the UI reflects the change instantly, even before the server responds. As with forms, any queries on the page will automatically be refreshed following a successful command, but we can make things more efficient by telling SvelteKit which queries will be affected by the command, either inside the command itself or when we call it. Finally, we can use pre-render for data that changes rarely enough to be generated at build time and served straight from a CDN. It makes navigation feel instant because the data is already there when the page loads and you can still mix pre-rendered data with dynamic queries for the parts that need to stay fresh. All of these functions share the same advantages. They run only on the server, can safely access secure resources, and give you end-to-end -end type safety. Right now, remote functions are still experimental, which means you'll need to opt in and be ready for breaking changes. But, considering the direction of web dev, this feels like the next logical step. Sure, there is an entire debate on the topic of tightly coupling your front-end and back-end, so let me know in the comments if you think this is a good idea or not. If you like this video, you should check one of these ones next, and if you are enjoying these fast-paced deep dives into tech topics, please consider subscribing. Until next time, thank you for watching.